What do you want? Who are you? Uh, I was rowing about looking at the ships. The fog came down and the ferry ran into me. You don't look like a thief. It's not much to do. Scrap. That's why they need a watchman. Everybody is fighting to buy scrap. They are short of steel. What's the next war, I suppose? Go in while I hang out the riding light. You will find coffee on the stove. You two cleared in the harbor area. And now here is a police announcement. Simon Van Halder, serving a life sentence for murder, escaped arrest yesterday by diving from the Hamburg ferry into the Elbe. The wanted man is of medium height, slim but muscular, dark complexion and hair, and is wearing a dark brown coat and trousers. A reward is offered for his arrest. Information. <laughs> Breakfast is ready. Better get up and have a wash. Has the fog killed? Yes. It's a fine morning. You will be wanting to go ashore. Yes, I'm sorry to be in so much trouble. You slept like a log. You must have been without sleep quite a while. Why did you kill this man? His son was killed in Russia. No one has been sentenced for killing him. No one has offered a reward for the men who killed him. They've issued a description. They know what you are dressed in. You had better keep those clothes. There's denouncing and informing enough in the world. I want no part in it. Hurry up and I put you ashore. Trevor. Cute little guy. Well, if guys can be cute, I suppose he is. Well, have it your own way. I still like him. Well, surely you didn't call me all the way from Munich just to admire him. Nope. It's your friend Van Halder. What's Uncle Sam's interest in him? He made a call here in Hamburg on a man who just died. They searched the apartment and found this. The photostat of a top secret blueprint. Component of a submarine guided missile device. We've got reason to believe it's fabricated secretly in West Berlin, smuggled across into the East Sector. What's the connection between Van Helder and the dead man? I don't know. He may know some of Boland's former friends. It's certainly a strange coincidence that Van Helder should arrive just after Boland's death. Boland and a Paul Ravitch deserted early together from the German Navy early in. Wait a minute. Ravitch. That name sounds familiar. Well, we checked on Paul Ravitch. We figured he was the brains behind it all. But he was killed here in Hamburg in 46, when the bomb-damaged house he lived in collapsed. Oh. Maybe Van Holder can be of help. He's got to be pulled in quick, Bob. Well, he hasn't a hope. There's a general alert out for him. Well, I don't know. He was believed to have picked up a letter in the post office and to have left one in return. He did? Maybe you might know somebody who'd be interested in hearing from him. Maybe. I'll keep you posted. <laughs> Have 
got something from Fräulein de Boer, please? Oh, thank you. It's a small world, Anna. Who would have expected to see you here? Oh, Bob. You're supposed to be in Amsterdam. Why didn't you let me know that you were coming back to Germany? I did phone your office in Munich, but they... Uh, they, they told me you'd left. Oh. Why don't we go and talk somewhere? I must know what's happened. You're forgetting your letter. Oh. So I have, thank you. Well, we'll go and have a drink. There's quite a lot been happening. Why did you come here? I put adverts in all the papers asking for information about Slada, American Ravage. Who knew you were coming here and wrote you that letter? <laughs> and may I ask what business it is of yours? Oh, Bob, you're not shadowing me, are you? Unfortunately, I've had to make it my business. Two light beers, please, Harover. Very good, sir. Who wrote you that letter? Dearest Anna, I've made exhaustive inquiries, but I'm afraid I've bad news. You know, I believe Simon to be innocent, but frankly, I cannot see what else we can do. You must face the fact that it's hopeless and learn to live again. I'm leaving for Berlin on Wednesday at three o'clock. If you think I can be of any further help, why don't we meet there and talk things over like we used to in our students? Incidentally, I see that Hamlet is playing there. I remember how we queued up all night to see it. God bless you, J.S. Who's J.S.? Have you got a light? His name's Jan Schiller. We were students together. I asked him to try and help me. Oh, I see. Well, I'm sorry. It's just part of the job. All right, Bob, I understand. And now, in case you still intend to follow me, I'm, I'm going to Berlin. Bye, Bob. Bye. I was afraid you'd forget about this place. I'll not understand my letter. How horrible it is, Val. I've got bad news. Berlin's dead. Okay. Mm. He's found drowned. But he was expecting a visit from a friend from Berlin. It's I... him. I've had a reply to my advertisement from a girl here. And I think he's in 
think I found Valentin. Valentin? Where? I'm going to see the girl today. Anna, come to the Bonvent Cinema tonight at 7 o'clock upstairs. Remember, the Bonvent Cinema. Who's there? It's only me. I was just having a look round. My mother always talked about this theatre. She used to see every new production here before the war. Sad to see it all in ruins. It must have quite a history. You're quite right, Fraulein. It has. You've no idea the people who've been here. I've seen them all. See that box? Yes. On gala nights, the Kaiser used to sit there. Then it was Hitler. And now it's only you left. Makes you think, eh? about the advertisement. I didn't want you to come here. I told you to write off home. I had to see you personally. Have you bought the money? Yes. But I must be sure it's a man I want to see. That's him, Valentin Slaughter. Calls himself Winter now. He does not know I know his real name. He lives here. Those are his suits. A relative? Well, not exactly. What about the money? I've given you the information. Oh, it's a large amount. I must be quite certain before I hand it over. There's enough. Have a fact to me. The address? Now, look here. I don't want to get mixed up in anything. He doesn't know about this. Either give me the money or get out. I shouldn't talk like that, you know. You see, I could easily come back here and show him your letter. No, no. He mustn't do that. I, I don't know what he'd do to me. Let's strike a bargain. What time are you expecting him? About eight. Arrange to be out, then. Lend me the key of the flat. No, I don't. Well, I'll, I'll give you a third of the money down. And the rest? As soon as I'm convinced that he's the man I want to see. Berlin. In a recent demonstration in Berlin, police docs show that prevention is better than cure. And what better than to expose the crime before it is committed, and sometimes even the criminal. <laughs> Felsek Bavaria. The mountain peak prison, scene of the recent sensational escape of Simon van Halder, the self-confessed murderer, hunted by police and security forces of four nations. He is still at large. He is dangerous. Have you seen this man? Hamburg. Germany's leading couturiers present their most beautiful creations to an international audience. I think it must be the man. I saw his photograph. He's changed his name to Winter. He'll be in his flat at 8 o'clock. There's a key and address. There's a cafe around the corner from the house. I'll wait for you. 